Hello there guys, today I'm going to be comparing the render times in DaVinci Resolve 12.5, 14, and whatever the most recent version of DaVinci Resolve 15 beta there is available. Um, since I no longer have access to DaVinci Resolve 12.5.6, we're going to have to use a previous video I did testing this exact same test. Um, and in that test it took 52 seconds, and yeah. So, um, I thought we would actually re-render the video in DaVinci Resolve 14, because as you can see, this was actually released in August 2017. So there have been a few updates to Resolve 14 since then, and 12.5 I don't think has changed at all since then, and even if it did, I don't have any way of getting it anymore, so yeah. Um, what we're going to do, um, where I'm going to repeat the same process as I did last time, um, Oh, we don't need to do that. Then I'm going to drag this in here twice, giving us a total of 30 seconds. And then we're going to click Deliver. And we're going to use YouTube 1080p because at the time I, ch I thought that would be the most common render setting. I'm only going to change the file name. Otherwise, this is all going to be left default. And yeah, I will be back once I am done rendering DaVinci Resolve 14. Okay, so we can see it actually took... A little longer this time. Um, this is, of course, on the same system as last time. Um, last time it took 42 seconds. Um, we do have all the same programs open. I haven't changed or started running super big programs in the background. So yeah, I'm actually surprised that it takes longer. However, I'm very curious about Resolve 15 because they boast about their massively improved rendering thing, encoder, whatever it's called. I don't know the terminology. All I do is edit videos. So, yeah, I'm going to go get my DaVinci Resolve 15 installed, and then we'll do the next test, which is the same thing, I guess, but still. Okay, so that took a stupid amount of time to download. I'll be 100% honest with you. But now that it's open, the installer is open. I'm going to point out which things I'm installing, and it's everything. So, yeah, I felt I should add that, just in case that has an effect on any render times or anything like that. So, yeah, I will be back once this is done downloading. Okay, so, turns out DaVinci Resolve 14 is actually marginally slower than DaVinci Resolve 15 by two seconds, if I'm remembering the numbers correctly. Um... Yeah, I don't plan on really doing anything special with this, like having them all play together next on the end screen. So, yeah, if I were to do that, it would just be stupid and pointless because no matter what, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's encoded using YouTube's encoder um, compression algorithm. And even then, there's not going to be much of a difference considering they both, all of them, uh, eh. Considering all of them use the same codec, um, which is H.264, they're all rendered into a QuickTime file, and they are all rendered at 25 FPS. So, thank you for watching this video. Um, if this helped you somehow, you're welcome. Um, otherwise, yeah, this is just a bit of an interesting test that I like to do whenever a new version of Resolve comes out, and I am quite impressed to see how this is gone from 52 seconds to render to 44 over just two generations of resolve without changing any system hardware doing any overclocks or anything it's honestly amazing to see how much davinci resolves dev team or black magic design has improved resolve so far i am really excited for the full version of 15 to come out and when that happens, I will likely do another test just like this. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.